Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little problem of question, diameter of binary tree. Okay, so let me explain with this example. The diameter of binary tree is the length of longest path between any two nodes in the tree. So this path may or not may pass through the root. So for example, uh, this is a one of a, a diameter of binary tree, and uh, this is a one of example, and this is one of example. So in my opinion, I think it's a good idea when we go back to previous node, we add plus one. So, I mean, length plus one. So we traverse uh, this tree with depth plus such, and we start from root node. And uh, first of all, let's go left, and let's go left. And then now we are uh, node four. So um, from node four, um, left node is null, and the right node is null. So that means, um, this is a length cell, right? And then let's go back to a previous node. That means two, right? So when we go back to uh, two from four, so we should add plus one for uh, this length. And then um, there is a possibility that we have um, child node from four. In this case, uh, there is no child, right? But uh, there is a possibility, right? So that's why when we go back to previous node, so we should um, return like a one. So one, this one is for uh, this length plus max and uh, left or right. So this left and this right means this left and this right, right? So that we can uh, return the max length of this subtree, right? So in this case, um, left and right is zero, right? So that's why um, when we go back to two, so max length of this subtree is one, right? And then let's go right, and we find five. And the same thing from five, there's no child, right? So that means zero, zero, right? And then when we go back to two from five, so we should add plus one for this pass, right? And then take a max, of left or right, but uh, zero, zero, right? So that means um, max length of this subtree is also one. And then um, now we go back to two. And uh, so we finish all, um, uh, we finish visiting all nodes um, for this subtree, right? So let's go back to root node. And uh, so again, when we go back to root node, so we should add plus one for this pass, and then take a max number from right or left. So in this case, one and one, it's same, right? So that's why uh, max length of this uh, subtree is two, right? And then now we go back to root node. So let's go to right side. And actually we do the same thing. And uh, from three, there's no child, right? So that's why this is length zero, this is length zero. And then, so we visit all nodes, right, on the left. So let's go back to a root node. So when we go back to root node, add plus one for this pass, and then take a max number on the left or on the right, but uh, zero, zero, right? So that's why um, max length of right subtree is one, right? And then now we go back to root node. So all we have to do is just add length two from left side and uh, length one from right side. Then total three, right? So that's why we should return three in this case. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, create a result variable and initialize with zero. And uh, we traverse the tree with depth for search. So depth for search and passing the root node and then return result variable. So let's create a depth first search function. So depth first search and uh, taking a root node, let's say. And then first of all, if not root in the case, so return length zero, right? And then uh, let's go to left side and right side. Left equal depth first search and uh, passing the root dot left. And uh, let's go right side with the same thing, depth first search and uh, root dot right right and then so we should calculate the uh, length 
So we have to access result variable, but from inner function, we cannot access a result variable. So to enable us to access result variable from uh, Dex for search, so we uh, use non-local, so non-local and less, so that we can access a result variable. And then less equal max and the current result versus left plus right. And then when we go back to previous node, as I told you, return uh, one plus max left or right. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n, where n is the number of nodes in the tree, so because we visit all nodes one by one. And the space complexity is uh, order of h. h is a height of tree, so that is average. But in the worst case, uh, like a tree is a skewed tree, uh, that is order of n, right? Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. So please support me with the actions such as comment and hitting like button. I'll see you in the next question.